Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Orion Embry. I am the brand ambassador here at Travel Media Group. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to join me on this webinar today. Very excited to share this presentation with you all. Now at the end of this webinar, we'll be providing my direct contact information in case you have any follow-up questions with the content that I'm going to be sharing this afternoon. You can also use the chat feature, which is located right there in your toolbar, to type any sort of questions or feedback that you might have. We'll be responding to those questions personally following the conclusion of the webinar. Also, be on the lookout since today's presentation will feature several interactive polls and would absolutely love your participation in them. So let's go ahead, get started, and learn how to target leisure travelers this 2020 winter season. And I want to start by organizing a grid a grid split into four distinct quadrants. And where your hotel property is located on this grid is really based off of two key factors. The first is weather. Now for most of the country, the winter season means cold weather. Cold weather which drives people indoors and typically slows down occupancy numbers. But there are also some places in the country that stay relatively warm where cold travelers flock to this time of year. Now the next major factor is new to the hotel industry in 2020, but has an enormous impact on guests as they consider to travel this winter, and that is the level of local COVID restrictions. Now in some parts of the country, there are still highly restrictive requirements put in place by local cities and regions. In other locations, restrictions have begun to ease and loosen as more time has passed. So as we start to form a strategy on how to capture occupancy this winter, we have to take into account where your property falls on this grid. However, as we've learned in 2020, things can change at a moment's notice and we need to be ready to adapt our marketing game plan in an event that one of these two factors change. So if your local starts to see an, uh, local area starts to see an influx of cases, you could see restrictions in your market tighten and fluctuate from low to high, like we're seeing in some parts of the country right now. But you could also be in a location that has a very mild winter and could move from cold weather to warm quicker than most other parts of the country. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna explore every quadrant of this grid and really strategize an action plan on how to best leverage your hotel's social media marketing to attract and capture leisure travelers this 2020 winter. But first, to get a better idea of the hotels that we have on the webinar today, I'm gonna to go ahead and launch our first poll, which asks exactly that. Where does your property land on this grid that we just talked about? So let me go ahead and launch this here. So is your property located in kind of a warm weather climate with low restrictions? cold weather, but also low restrictions? Or do we have your property maybe in some colder weather with high restrictions? So I'll give everyone a quick second to find, engage where they uh, engage in this poll, figure out where they are on this grid, and then we'll go ahead and share it, show where everyone's at. Okay, just a couple more seconds here. Awesome. So, it looks like for most, for most, actually, we have warm weather with low restrictions or cold weather and high restrictions. Interesting. So again, we're going to go through all four of these quadrants and really strategize uh, a, a custom plan for you here. So let's start. We're going to take a look at, at hotels in the low restrictive warm weather quadrant. So this was about 32% of you on this call. Now, a lot of these properties could be located in the Sun Belt or southeastern part of the country, like Florida, for example. Now, the first advantage you're going to have over other regions in this grid is the weather and the ability for guests to experience outdoor activities. So whether it's a beach, a national park, or hiking trail, there's reasons that guests travel to this area of the country during the winter, and it's not to stay cooped up and locked in a hotel room. Guests want to be outdoors and enjoy the weather, so make sure you're marketing local outdoor activities for guests to visit when they stay at the property. However, it's not just outdoor activities that guests can enjoy. Due to the easing and low restrictions in comparison to other areas, travelers can also enjoy indoor activities like dining and shopping. This could be key in attracting travelers from regions that might have tighter restrictions 
and might not have the opportunity to enjoy these types of indoor activities. So make sure you have a healthy mix of both indoor and outdoor activities on your hotel's social feeds. Now the next type of post that we can use to attract these winter guests is events for this area. The low restrictions and mild weather make for a perfect combination for the event industry. Make sure you're researching and highlighting any events that are in your area during this time of year. Guests are looking for reasons to travel again and a local event could be the excuse they need to finalize that wintertime booking. And finally, attractions. As we mentioned before, guests traveling to a hotel in this part of the country, they don't wanna be stuck in a, a room with great weather outside and they really don't need to be stuck in the room with loosened COVID restrictions. So focus your post on local attractions and things to do outside of the property, creating special packages, even reaching out to some of these local attractions for potential partnerships, which could be mutually beneficial during this slower time of year. So what if you're in a market with the same warm or mild weather, but have an increased or heightened restrictions in your local area? These types of properties can possibly be found in the Southwest or West Coast, like California. So while the restrictions in these areas might be high, they still have the unique advantage of good weather. Because of that, hotels should be encouraging posting about outdoor activities in the local area. Only this time, we're keeping those restrictions in mind. So you wanna find outdoor socially distanced activities like the post you see below, to attract winter travelers from other markets to your region. Higher restrictions also mean a different type of guest experience. Start preparing your travelers and guests for these changes by posting what the quote unquote new normal hotel experience looks, at, looks like at your property. So this might mean something like a breakfast on the go or contactless check-in. The better you can set these expectations prior to the guest arrival, the less likely they are to be surprised by these changes and negatively impact their stay. So make sure you're sharing these quote unquote new normal hotel experiences across all of your social media channels and website. And finally, unlike the low restrictions of the Southeast that we talked about before, guests that travel to a hotel in this quadrant might be spending more time at the property due to the raised local restrictions. Therefore, hotels should be posting and showcasing more of the hotel's amenities and unique features. Guests concerned with venturing outside the hotel might really appreciate a post like the one below where they can grab snacks and essentials right at the property without ever leaving. These are the type of posts that ultimately tilt a traveler's booking decision in your favor versus the, comp the competition. Now for the next quadrant, let's keep those heightened restrictions, but drop the temperatures to typical cold winter weather. So this was about 34% of the properties on this call here, so a majority. Properties in this quadrant could potentially be found up in the Northeast like New York. So with these strict restrictions and cold weather outside, guests are traveling to this part of the country, they're most likely doing it for a reason. So whether it's something for work or you know, a family emergency, these are travelers uh, where they know that there might not uh, be much to do outside of the hotel, but then again, that might not be the reason for their trip. That's why hotels should really focus their marketing efforts and attention on the property itself, posting pictures of the different types of guest rooms and room features. This is where guests are gonna be spending a majority of their time, it's at the property. Hotels should also, like the last quadrant, start prepping guests for the type of experience they're gonna be expect uh, with implementation of new property protocols and maybe SOPs. In the post below, the property announced over their social channels that they're leaving rooms vacant for three whole days before renting out to another guest. This could give guests traveling to that area a lot of peace of mind and confidence in booking their winter trip at this hotel versus another. So again, I cannot stress enough, share videos, images, as much as you can when it comes to what this new hotel experience looks like, because if you're not the one sharing it, your guests will be the ones that do, and it could negatively reflect on your online hotel reviews. And lastly, your hotel amenities. When all is the same outside of the hotel, travelers are gonna make their booking decision based off, off what's inside of your hotel. Highlight amenities and use social media. 
and don't forget to mention any so new safety protocols for them if implemented at the property. <clears throat> now for the final quadrant of this grid, let's keep that cold winter weather but loosen and ease the local COVID restrictions. Uh, so this was about 23% of you according to that poll. Now hotels that fall under this category could be located in the upper Midwest or Great Plains like the Dakota. Similar to the previous quadrant, the cold weather, it's going to keep a lot of your guests indoors most of the time, except in, in this region, uh, travelers have a lot more options because of the lower restrictions. So that means more activities for guests to enjoy indoors. So make sure your social feed features plenty of these places to eat, shop, and stay out of the cold if travelers decide to vacation to this area. Some guests, however, might not want to brave the winter weather. So to attract and capture these travelers, be sure to mix in some of the properties, hotels, amenities, and features. The post below is a great example uh, showcasing the property's heated indoor pool, which could look very attractive to a family looking to travel and stay warm indoors for the holiday season. But it's also important to take advantage of this winter weather. If your property is located in a cold weather climate, typically there are things like sledding, ice skating, and other winter activities to do. Seek these activities out and post them across your social feeds so that travelers have the opportunity to take advantage of them this time of year. So now let's take a look at some social strategies that are really considered universal and can really be leveraged by practically any hotel during the winter season. The first is, is holiday post and package specials. No matter where your property is located or the amount of COVID restrictions in your local area right now, holidays in one way or another will be celebrated. Use social media to post specials and discounted packages to encourage travel during this busy holiday season. Next is cleanliness and safety posts. According to data from Expedia, the top consideration for future leisure trip accommodation decisions was health and hygiene information. So we're eight months, almost nine months into this pandemic, and travelers are still prioritizing safety and health at the top. So be sure to create and share these posts about the cleanliness protocols implemented at your property. With some cases, and I'm sorry, with cases in some parts of the country spiking, this is absolutely critical to your property's success this winter season. And finally, call to action posts. I heard this phrase the other day, really loved it. The phrase was inspiration to invitation. At the beginning of this pandemic, these call to action posts might have kind of been seen as tone deaf to the situation or inappropriate. Instead, at Travel Media Group, we helped our hotel partners use that time to inspire, inspire future travel, inspire confidence in our hotel's ability to keep their guests safe. Well, now it's time to turn that inspiration into invitation and invite travelers to the property. Use posts like the one below on your social channels as a way to di direct online traffic and convert them to online bookings. So hopefully, no matter where your property is located on this grid, you have some ideas on how to leverage your hotel's social platforms as revenue drivers for this 2020 winter season. But I want to shift gears and take a look at another factor Im impacting travelers' booking decisions now more than ever. And that is your hotel's online reputation, specifically when it comes to building customer and guest confidence. We've talked about it before, the importance of gaining consumer confidence and your hotel's ability to keep your guests safe and provide them with a positive hotel experience during and after this pandemic. One of the best ways we can build that confidence and trust, online reviews. Every positive review your hotel receives increases that traveler confidence and represents the type of experience that guests can expect today. As the rating of the review falls, so does the amount of confidence in, of which it increases. Negative feedback does very little to increase confidence, but what it does show is relevant information of what the hotel experience is like now at your hotel. So I wanna take a look at an example of three properties and, and how this could really play out in a real world situation. 
how during week one of this winter season, Hotel A receives one online positive review. Hotel B receives no feedback and really hasn't gotten any online re uh, reviews or feedback for several months. While Hotel C re receives three mixed reviews, one positive, one neutral, and one negative. As we fast forward a couple weeks to week number three, Hotel A in that time still hasn't received any new feedback since, ho since week one. Hotel B generates one neutral review and so does Hotel C. <clears throat> now I wanna pause for a second and take a look at this through the lens of a traveler. Now prior to the pandemic, most hotels would wanna be Hotel A and most travelers would probably choose Hotel A. But in 2020, a lot can happen in the span of two weeks. And with no new feedback from Hotel A during this time, that last positive review really could feel like a lifetime ago and not even be relevant to the traveler researching the property in the here and now. That's why you see Hotel C's level of traveler confidence built to the level that it is. Now, is it important for Hotel C to generate more positive reviews? Of course. Just look at Hotel B as we fast forward to week five. It's captured more recent reviews than Hotel A, but its level of traveler confidence remains low because of its poor review ratings. So this pandemic should really be a wake up call and warning for hotels that have maybe relied on only a few good traveler reviews every couple of weeks to carry them throughout the winter season. This year is different. The way travelers are researching your hotel and the way they're making their booking decisions is different. I challenge you, take a look at your property's reviews after this call and ask yourself what information out there is building customer and guest confidence? What feedback on these sites is actually relevant to a traveler looking for a place to stay tonight or tomorrow? You see, the key today and during this winter season is not just to focus on the quality of reviews, but also the quantity. The more reviews and feedback you have, the more relevant it is for travelers searching and making those booking decisions. Now at Travel Media Group, our reputation management program does exactly that. We've been helping you increase not only the number of reviews, but the rating of those reviews, facilitating you in eliminating negative feedback that can be so damaging to your hotel's bottom line, especially now in this fragile winter season. Pair that with a strong social strategy tailored specifically to your property's needs and targeting ideal customer, it will be a very merry winter season for you and the hotel property. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and launch our second and final poll, which asks if there are any hotels or group of hotels that would like to learn more about our reputation and social media solutions to help increase occupancy this winter. So, <clears throat> Go ahead and launch this last poll here. Uh, I know there were a couple of you that went, uh, came on a little bit later. We always get this question afterwards. Yes, we will be sending out a recording of this, but you can find all of our recordings on Travel Media Group's YouTube page if you visit us there. I'll give everyone a quick second, again, to find this poll, engage with it. Just asking if you'd like assistance and help increasing occupancy for this 2020 winter season. And I will be uh, providing my direct contact information here in just a second. Like I said, just going to give everyone just a couple more seconds to, to engage with that poll. Excellent. Okay. So as promised, here is my direct contact information. Uh, you can reach out to me via phone or email. Hard to believe, but we are doing our final educational webinar for 2020. Uh, very excited about it, but it's gonna be all about climbing the reputation uh, rankings. So to set you up for success in 2021. So be sure not to miss that. You can sign up for that on our website, travelmediagroup.com slash webinars. And uh, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, give plenty of insights, educational opportunities. We post all about our podcast episodes and educational webinars via LinkedIn. I'd love to connect with you. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to join me on this webinar and have a fantastic rest of your week.